What's up guys, welcome back. Mike Wheeler from Stranger Things. So, this is challenging, right? So we'll give this a go. So I was just trying to find images, good images of them. I found the poster for season four. That's a three quarter pose. What that means is, right, the head is kind of turned away, right, on one side. So we've one side of his head that's a little bit smaller than the other, okay? So if you want, you could you could do construction lines if you like doing that sort of thing. I'll just go straight in and do the details. But you could draw a circle and put a line if that's helpful for you. If not, just start following like me. Pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, okay? So let's give this a go. So I like to start with the eyes. So center point of my page is about here. We'll go up and we'll start with his right eye. So it's not like a crazy big three quarter. The eyes are roughly the same size, so we'll, it'll make things easier first. All right, so we'll just go up, curve it over, and down like this. And he has quite long eyelashes, right? So we will thicken up this line. So we'll make this like a, just like a tad darker. And we'll leave this at the end, kind of like spiky. I go like this, right? So then this goes around his tear duct and we go in towards his eye here. And so this just comes across the bottom of his eye and then the other side and it goes down and across here. And you can join them or leave a gap, it's up to you. You want to join them. You see how we go. Then his iris inside there. So just like a circle coming down from the top, which is that bottom eyelid line. Back around there. Now I can't see any pupils, right? They're not drawn in from what I can see. I will draw them in. But if you want, you can color this black and leave a white highlight. But I'll add pupils just because. Maybe if I brighten it, I might be able to see. They might be there. So let's say I put one here. Let's see what happens. Right. And if you want, you know, certain sort of iris lines and stuff, just the, the, the muscle fibers in his in his eyes just here going around right so then we got some eyelid lines right so coming up around here so coming around the top of his eye sort of down and around the back This kind of joins the eye here, and then I get a line that comes down that way for his nose, sort of. And then he has like a light line coming around just for his like eyelashes on the bottom. It's like it's a real broken sort of line just here. Comes around like so, and maybe like something else underneath. So, so at the top here, we have his nose sort of starting here, right? We've got like a curved line comes out for that nose of his down this way. 
right? And his eyebrow will come out from this. So it comes like across the top here. It nearly kind of touches his eyelid line. Seems to be quite hairy at the front. And it comes back. And I'm going to do it just in black because that's the way it's done in the image, right? So I'll go just back this way. Do a spike here, maybe. Right. So before I finish the nose, I'll just go over and do the other eye because we'll just get everything in the right place first. So you're about eye width, right? So the width of this eye will fit in between the two eyes, right? So the distance between the tear ducts is about the width of this eye. So you want to start the next eye about there, okay? And then, so we go up. Curve it over. And again, it's kind of like sharp at the end and thicken it up. Right, and then, depending on how thick you want to make it. And then the bottom eyelid comes across here and goes in towards the tear duct then. Just there somewhere. So tricky now doing these sort of semi-realistic characters, trying to get the likeness and stuff. So take your time, hit pause. And then his eye, so his iris, he's kind of looking to the left, so it's slightly off-center, it's more to the left here. So you'll do going around again, circle, touching, nearly his bottom eyelid line, and then the pupil just in the middle somewhere. If you get it in the middle, that's what makes the character look like, you know, they're looking right at you. And then you can add some iris lines and things around. Maybe tear duct. I can't see the tear duct on this side, but maybe we should see something there. Right, so then we got eyelid line. So just come in. And then kind of goes around the back here. Like so, and then he has this extra sort of eyelash line that comes around underneath here. So he's kind of frowning, right? So he's got like this frown line sort of here. And then this joins his eyebrow. And this eyebrow seems to be like much longer. So we can go. Back this way. Kind of hook. 
folks down there. And then go up. And then we'll bring it down to the point down here. And I'll just shade this in then. on the inside of the nose here as well. Do, do, do. Right, so we'll go down and try and do his nose now, right? Try and finish this nose here. So, so we'll carve it around the front. He's got, he has got quite a big nose, so it kind of like goes around here. sort of comes to this sort of pointy V sort of part and then goes around for his nostril. Right, like so, we could have like some hatching or something there on that side. And then his nostril on this side of his nose, just this kind of letter C sort of shape here. Darken up this nostril, add a shadow just in here. Maybe like the side of the nose on this side, just like something like that. And his nostril over here. Curves around down there, and then we have the dark part of the nostril inside here. Tricky enough nose now to draw. And it might be like a, just a light line coming down from the side of his mouth here. And then this side as well. Okay, so his, his mouth, right, he's got he's got fairly big lips, right? So we go up and sort of curves down, back up, and around the back here. Like that. And his mouth is kind of semi-open, right? So we've got the middle line that goes up, kind of bumps around here, down around this way. line just on the side of his mouth and kind of a dark shadow here. Then the bottom lip comes down from the here, comes down from the corner of his mouth. Goes around. Oop, that way. And then we're kind of semi-open, so you can see sort of the inside here. Maybe some 
tooth inside or we could just shadow it up we'll maybe we'll shadow it up Right, kind of like that. And then he's got like a shadow on his chin or something down here, just like chin drawn in. Doo -doo. And just a light line coming down from the nose. Like so. Right, so then his chin, just down here, he's got a relatively square chin, right? And because we're in three quarter pose now, so. So we're gonna have different shapes to the side of the face. So this one will become his jaw, right? So this one will go up this way and then change direction up towards the ear. But on this side, it'll go like around his cheek and his face differently, right? So it'll like go up. out like this and then his cheek will go in a bit and then stick out here and then around towards the eye and then up around his eye and then it'll kind of disappear underneath his hair here somewhere And then you could have some like light cheekbone lines just coming in. There. Okay, so we can see an ear here that goes up underneath his hair. And you can't see much in terms of like ear lines and stuff. So it's just, it kind of goes up underneath his hair there. So we can just see like a little bit. Okay, so then his hair, his fringe, right? So he's got this long sort of hair that comes all the way across like. So just these kind of spikes that stick down. towards the, the eyebrow
to ease the sort of spikes that go across his hair. And then they'll kind of like curl around this way then. sideburn just there like that and then just more of this style of hair kind of sticking out here and then it like out around his head this way long hair goes eventually behind his neck Right, and something sort of similar on this side, right? So you have some that just kind of stick out here. This is like his fringe, right? So these all go up towards the middle of his head. And then we go down on this side as well. Itself. All these texture lines on top of his head just appear. And then add as much of that texture now as you want, so. So it's always tricky doing these kind of characters because you know they're so particular and you've got to get it sort of just right. So I hope it's helping someone. You just try and you know, you just try and build it up as best you can then. And so the rest of his hair kind of goes in behind his neck, right? So he's just thickening up some of these edge lines now as well. I find it helps with realistic kind of characters and stuff. OK, 
Okay, so the neck comes out from behind the ear. Just there. Like that. And the neck on the front, he doesn't have like that big of a neck. So it's like from his chin down to there. Some of these. Same with like a neck muscle there. Maybe maybe it's Adam's apple. Just here, the neck muscle line going that way. Right, and then his shirt, so let's see. So his shirt like comes out from behind. Comes down here towards the front of the collar. The other side comes out this way. And then this joins the other side here and the collar that so it's like that shirt that he's on and then it's this closes just down this way it's like he's a white t-shirt on between but this goes down there white t-shirt there And then the collar on the other side comes out this way. Up. It goes around like that. And the other side of the shirt there. And then this other line goes behind his neck. It's gone that way. And then some detail lines on this, some buttons, like an edge line or something there. Button. So his body's like turned away as well, right? So it's like this shoulder is smaller, so it like comes out this way, down like that. And then this one, top of that green shirt there, and we got like some phone lines and things just going that way. And then the other shoulder is bigger, sticks out a bit further. There. This goes down, round. Like that. And I think we have like some more hair kind of bumping around here. All right, and then I'll just try and tidy up some of these lines now. So I'll just start adding some extra weight to them. Just some darkness just around. Some texture on the inside. So it's always, I'm always at the limit of what I can do when I'm drawing these kind of realistic people. It's, it's quite difficult, I must say. But it's good, it's good to challenge yourself. I hope they're helping people anyway. That's the main thing.
It kind of looks like him, I think. Always hard to know when to stop. See, I had another picture. Sorry, <laughs> this is probably really boring, but I'm kind of having fun. But uh, it's really scary as well. Uh, I might, I might have to edit this out. So I'm, I'm actually losing a picture that I had. shadow in here Just adding some kind of wrinkles to his lips and stuff. I'm going to just start shading it now. And that's all I can, I think that's all I can do. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.